The citation of Hosea 11 and Matthew seems to be in line with Midrashic approach to Scripture, where things can have layers of meaning. How do we guard against going too far with that hermeneutic? Whenever I get a, a question like this, my default answer is, is the conclusion consistent in the passage? In other words, is it a possibility in the passage? Is it a coherent connection in regard to the source that's being used? Is the conclusion coherent with the rest of Scripture? Because the goal is to try to let the interaction of biblical writers form the concept, in this case, of Messiah. We're trying to let Scripture inform Scripture, not just in two places, but I want to see it informed by 20. And chances are, are really good that when you start building the data pool out, you're going to go back to some of these and say, you know, this worked, but this other option, that might even work even better. Because now you're not just bouncing Hosea and Matthew off each other. You've got 20 other passages that you're trying to inform each other.